Okay, so now we are on to part two of Missile Command Clone in Python 3. Uh, I realize why in the last video we had a little bit of a, uh, or the first video actually, a little bit of a miss on the uh, missiles. It's because uh, it was running in Python 2. There's a bit of difference between division, the way division works in Python 2 and Python 3. Um, so this is going to require Python 3. So here is what it should look like here for Missile Command 2. We're going to basically make it so that the enemy missile moves towards the targeted location. This is what it's going to look like. Notice here I'm using Python 3. Again, this is Linux. It may look a little different on other operating systems. Let's run that. And now you'll see the missile actually started here. And its target was the city. And it's moving towards the city. And it keeps going because we haven't programmed it yet. Okay, so a couple things we need to look at here. Um, in the simple Python game library, if you recall down here, I had something called game.tick. And this is a special method that I created that basically, uh, if everything's running correctly 30 times a second, it will call the tick method and make sure the game is running kind of smoothly. The tick method does a bunch of different things. It moves stuff around, etc., etc. But one of the more important things it does is it actually calls the tick method for the sprites. So each sprite has a built-in tick method. It doesn't do anything. Um, but what we can do is we can create our own custom tick method. So that's why I have define tick here, pass. Pass does nothing. It just is a placeholder until we actually add some code. Um, I've got tick for silos. I've got tick for player missile. I've got tick for the enemy missile. Uh, but we also I'm going to change that shortly. So think about the enemy missile and basically all the objects, the way we're going to do it, uh, is the enemy missile kind of starts in the top middle of the screen, and then it's got to go towards its target. Okay, So what I've done is I've used a, a little bit of basic, very basic, uh, I guess geometry would say. So I have dx and dy. d means delta. So the change in x and the change in y, and then the speed. So dx uh, is, how can I put it? So dx is the change in x. So if it's minus, it'll move to the left. If it's plus, it'll move to the right. Of course, 0 means it doesn't move left or right. dy is the change in y. So plus is up, minus is down. And then speed, just set the enemy missile to a speed of 2. Um, I've created another method uh, for this class called set target. So self is the object. So I'm going to be setting the target for each individual object. And the target is one of these other instances. So it could be a city or a silo. I think it's actually going to be a city in this game. Uh, maybe silos. Uh, I forget now. Anyway, uh, so what I've done is define the dx of the missile. I need its x coordinate minus the, y, the x coordinate of the target. And I need the change in y, so the self y coordinate minus the target's y coordinate. So that'll give me the difference in, in uh, like the x and the difference in y. And then m is the slope. So if you remember that from way back in like middle school maths, you'll say m is the slope. So that's y over x. Okay. And now if x is 0, you're going to have a problem. But that's, that's something we can deal with later. Uh, and then just here, I just printed the dx, dy itself just so I can see what was going on. Now, basically, that just sets the target. It doesn't actually move the object. So, uh, sorry, you're going to have to probably pause the video and, and start typing all this stuff in. Um, I'll put all the code up on my uh, blog at some point. The link will be down below. And then the tick method. So I'm going to change the x coordinate. I'm going to set the x by the current x coordinate minus 1 over the slope times the speed. Uh, I just played around with the formula. It took me a while to figure that out, but that's, that's what's going to work. Um, and then same thing with y. It's the current y coordinate minus the speed. That's a little bit, I did that a little differently. Again, uh, geometrically, it's probably not the best way to do it. You probably want, if you're better at math, you can do, you know, sines, cosines, all that sort of stuff. But this does kind of work. Um, gives you some weird results sometimes, but for a basic game and just getting started without too complicating the math, yeah, it works pretty well. Okay. So remember, this tick method is called uh, about 30 times a second. So it's going to be moving 
yeah, pretty fast, I mean, not reasonably fast, uh, depending on the size of your screen. Now, to actually do that, we actually have to set the target. Okay. Now, if there's no target, notice dx is 0, dy is 0. Okay, so it's not going to move at all. Um, so remember down here, we have created an instance of the enemy missile class. It's a red circle, it's 0, 250. And we set the target to, in this case, the particular instance. This, there's one city on the screen, and we are setting the target. So what that does is it calculates the, it goes up to here, it sets the target, calculates the dx, calculates the dy, calculates the slope, and then tells us, and then once the tick method starts going, it's going to start moving because we don't have zero anymore. Okay, and let's watch that one more time just to see what it looks like. So I've got dual monitors. Oops, so now it's running in Python 2, that's why it's going straight down. Um, I actually have to do it in Python 3. I'll have to figure out how to set this up properly. But anyway, Python 3, you see this is one of those interesting little differences between the two language, the two versions. It does go in the, the right direction. Okay, that's that for this lesson.